good people and yeah, we're back we're back we're back <laughs> yeah 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 Charlie, how you doing bro i'm good yourself great charlie Looking sweet and all. <laughs> <laughs> My G, I yeah, you doing good. Too. You doing good too. Thank you, thank you. Thank Coming you. in with all simple black and stuff like that. Yeah. No hala, no hala. <laughs> so my beautiful people, you know how we do. We're back again. Yes, yes, Fuck yes, 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 yes. If you're listening to this pod on Apple Podcast on Spotify, do your possible best to follow the page. Yeah. And if you're watching this pod on YouTube, my people, you see when you hand day. Anytime, any day, click on that red button. Yeah, and so click on that. Don't come here. Don't come here. Don't come here. Don't come Don't come Don't come here. 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 Don't what is that crazy thing that you can do mm. just for money? Uh, I mean, I, f- I feel like as far as it's not illegal, I can probably touch on it. As long as it's not illegal. Yeah, I mean, as far All as right. it's so illegal. So what's the craziest thing you've done for money? Uh, All right, you're going to think about that. Let me yeah, share Yeah, mine. let me think about it. I've let done, me share mine. I've done a lot of crazy things, oh. so I need to... Hey! <laughs> no, no <man>. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I've actually done... I think one of the craziest stuff that I did Mm. for money, Mm. at that point, I actually felt I was a hoe, Mm. to be very honest. It was my 22nd birthday. Yep. I needed money. Yeah. Proper money Mm -hmm. for my birthday. Yep. Now, the whole money where I collect from job, like um, my stipendio, um, Mm. how do we say in English? Salary. Salary, exactly. Yeah. I used it all for like the whole preparation when it comes to the birthday stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The party and stuff. Yeah. I still needed money for like the birthday cake. Yeah, it wasn't enough. thing. So like, who can give me this money? Now, back in the days on Twitter, yeah? yeah? Bro, you know how we do it back in the days. Yeah, yeah, So there was this one fine babe. She was like, you know, listen, I can give you the money, mm. but you know you're a fine dude. I'm like, God. Oh, so, so, so it was a Twitter girl? It was a Twitter Big babe. man. Big man. Yeah. Charlie, forgive the me. The girl if, eats if forgi- the shit out of me. Yeah, I never could forget. You forgive me the handle. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, <laughs> the girl eats me some eating, eh? Bro, hey. she proper used me. Eh, so what? I need be a marshal. No, no, no. See, me and that somebody see me tell me, say, nah, you be a shower boy. Ooh. No, trust me, I always come off like people seems like, nah, this boy be a shower nigga. Yeah. But I'll come to that story. See, see. Back to my case. The, the way the girl eats me. Eh? Wow, crazy. Ivan, you know if you will go out. You can even disagree me. What's up, Moja Sana? Oh, yeah, we Moja Drew. Charlie. Go eat me finish. We give me the money. Mm. I felt so used. But was the money huge, though? It was, it was uh, back oh, then, it was, it, was, time, it was enough. Then it be now, because um, me, I left Ghana, keep like, it be 2.5. Oh, okay. Oh, so back then it was enough. Yeah. Then, oh, Charlie Badman, I'll get the money. Sharp, I go, so I go down my kick and sharp, sharp, sharp. The sharp, rest, sharp. Do I take do, I de- go buy chiches and things. Oh, big man, I'll be, you know, they need the chiches here. Yeah. <laughs> Don't chiches. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, like, that's one of, like, the highlights of my life when it comes to stuff that I've done for money. Mm. But before we go on, the name is Typho, but I'm here with my man himself. Ivan the Chase. Mm. The only Chase in the two of me. Yeah, man. Back to the whole thing. Mm. A lot of people are doing crazy shit for money these days. Yeah, but let me tell you, I think I... I Talk to us yeah. about your experience. I think I've done a couple of crazy things for money. Okay. But this one is more or less like the one I'll, I'll, I'll put at the top. Okay. So it was... I was when we were in like um, JHS. Yeah. I don't know. Like here, I don't know how they call it. Like junior high school. Yeah. In here, wouldn't be superiore. Media. Here media. Media. Yeah. 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 So, you know, like the whole Apple. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. So, um, myself and a friend, right, we went to see like some other guys, all our, like our classmates. Yeah. And we're like, look, like we have this connect. He's going to give us Apple. Jesus. Yeah. Come on, Jesus. Yes. Ah, <laughs> Jesus. <Charlie. laughs> I'm wondering what you'll be doing. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> but yeah, go on. So we, we, we gave them the, the vibe that like, look, guys, we have someone who has the connect and is going to, you know, connect us to, right. you know, the papers before the exam day and, and yeah. things like that. So yeah. he wants this amount of money and, you, you know, because I mean, I went to like, I wouldn't, I wouldn't, it was, it was, a, it was a government school, but. It not be Saito. It not be, it, so it was. It's much more in the middle. It's a private school, but okay. it be then, you know, then times rolling and things some. Right. So it was, it was caught in the middle. We okay. didn't know if it was a Saito a or, Saito or a private because the, yeah. the, you know, the it ownership was in court. So. Okay. So, you know, so we there, we just, the middle, we just go to school. You exactly, know, exactly. Yeah, so, I mean, some that about boys, they, the, the school, there, right, and right. so Charlie, people go carry block and things, can't hey. we, you know, boys from higher there. Mm. We, me, then my boy go, you know, go some back, back ends, we, we go get some old, old uh, exam question papers. Question papers. And we're like, look, guys, this is the real deal. You know, this is <laughs> what the guys say, they come. Because then give we block. I said that time, oh, we enjoy you. Because I remember though, back then with the go playback show uh-huh. and all those. Charlie, you're a corner nisa. You know that. And the kind of nisa. You're a corner nisa. Big boy turn. JSS too. <laughs> <laughs> you don't go. JSS, you don't go nannies. Are you, man? Bro. Yeah, she's magnetic. Charlie? Crazy man, man. Man, 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 I think that was that. That's the craziest that's one of I've the done. Highlight, I mean, th- there's some that's crazy, but no, it's, but it's that, illegal, so I, can, I can't say it. Yeah, no, no, no. See, the illegal, the illegal. Uh, <laughs> big man, forget to be with you, Sam. See, I've worked in a cafe before, so you should understand. See, a girl literally mm. part of the Y Extra TV team. Mm. They see me say, "I'll be sucker, our boy." But why? Just because I'm from Thai fan, I call myself Thai Oh no. <laughs> Big shout outs to you, Twiggy Belts. <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh God. For 12 years, mm. the girl has always seen me like a Sakawa boy. No. I'm man. Like, why? I mean, it's, 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 um, yeah, there's a like saying that goes that one bad nut spoils the super. Do that understand? doesn't mean that all oh, Thai for bad or understand? Thai for guys are like you that. Get you get my know? point. Because yeah. I have a couple of friends from Thai for, and yeah, you know, from like the best Rico dance and things. See, they, I mean, one thing you should understand dudes, is, man. we from Thai for, yes, we understand. We are fine boys. And you be hard guys. You be hard guys. That'd be all. Yeah, we'll be smart too. Yeah, of and course. So if you see, see that vibe, we can't be intimidated on some songs where we the one cash early. You know the mean it's, it's, like it's, it's simple. Let me just put it in plain terms. Tell them, Maji. Use your head and use your hand. Mm. I know, I know. Work smarter. <laughs> Don't work harder. <laughs> <That's a bar. laughs> so yeah, jumping on to today's main topic. Reason mm. why I was asking you the whole thing was recently there's been this um, reports mm. from Zimbabwe. Mm that people mm. are selling their toes mm. for money. Mm. So now they are not working on 10 toes, 10 <laughs> toes. <laughs> what was that by again? <laughs> <laughs> Nigga sucks like in toes. What's your money? What's your money? What's your money? 10 toes, 10 toes. You nigga sucks like in toes. Hey, that way. Big homie, yeah. There's a section here. Sauko Tapa. Somebody album. I beg you. Intro, first track. Just, just, just bro, who best say album, Nicky? Man, it's crazy. So yeah, people are not walking on their 10 toes anymore. People are actually getting money mm. by selling their toes. Mm. The bigger one yeah. goes for 40k dollars. Look. The middle, mm. 20k. Mm. The small one, mm. 10k. 10K. Just so, autom- autom- so I mean we will get five. Yeah. So if the bigger one be 40, 40. we are sell the middle ones uh three. That means a three by twenty. 60. 100 key that. Yeah. The, the small the one for them to swallow. So 110. 110. So 110, 110. 240. 240. 220. 220. Fucking block. Huh? The moon dollar. Bad man, who they pay attention to your toes? <laughs> See the way things can be right now, if you walk on your ten toes, yeah, you'll be soft like in toes. <laughs> We flee today. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, what do, what do you think about this whole issue? I mean, it's a bit dicey, you know, because at, at the end of the day, you know, like in Zimbabwe, I assume it's the same as everywhere in Africa. Like the, the gap between the rich and the poor is so wide. Very true. And it's like the rich is getting richer yeah. and the poor is getting poorer. Poor, so yeah. what are you going to do to break that cycle? 
because yeah. we live in we we come from a country or we come from a continent where we have greedy leaders true so it's like it's either you you act smart very true i mean gonna gone are those days where you have to work hard and earn your cash now yeah. the people that are even working hard are, are not even earning as exactly. much as they need to exactly. so do you think it is the bad living mm. or the hard living i would say i wouldn't call it bad but I would say that like the hard living mm. in this continent that mm. we're talking about being Africa, mm-hmm. that's what's pushing people. Yeah, yeah, of course, it starts from somewhere. I mean, but you know, someone can be listening to us or watching us on YouTube and be like, no, come on. Like, cause I, make bad man. Listen, listen. Two, two, four, te, this, two this, 20 K, no be small money. This is not, this is not a hiasem. It's a matter of life and death. Cutting your toes, you go die. No, no, I'm just saying. I said, if you don't do it, you stay poor. Right. Take it from this point. Like, I'm a farmer. Yeah. I farm to earn a living. Right. And now, because of climate change, you know, you can't really predict the weather. Very true. So, like, let's say this year, I didn't, you know, make a bumper harvest. Right. What does that mean to me? I have to suffer. You have no? to suffer. Like, and I have this opportunity, and I feel like I can, you do know, that. do that and create, like, generational wealth. For my family, I'm going to break that cycle. And you tell me that I shouldn't do it because mm-hmm. I mean, come on. You know, People's life depend on this. On this. It's an opportunity. Yeah. You take it or you, yeah. you stay, you yeah. stay where. To be very honest, know. I don't even want to dive into what they are going to use these body parts for because I believe like we all know. That's none of my business. It's not, it's not on my business. Like, yeah. yo, if you decide to go and sell your toes, fine. You can come and visit me in your Lamborghini without your toes. I'll be standing in here with my 10 toes. Do you understand? <laughs> so, to be very honest, I really don't blame these people so much, but it's just sad what people can really do just for money. Like, look at um, this video that was trended on Twitter. Mm. This Dubai... Crazy. Another crazy thing. one, man. Another Jeez, crazy one. Like, man. I was reading... Kiss Kifo. I was reading... <laughs> Bro. Anytime I, I talk reading, about that issue, but yeah, let's let's hear what you have to say. I was reading somewhere that not somewhere. I was reading. Right. I was. I followed this girl on social media, mm-hmm. like on Snapchat. Yeah, and she's actually a victim of that. And she was telling her story of how right. like she's still like traumatized from that experience because apparently mm. her friend was the. And also, it's. I feel like it's somehow connected. Right. Take it. Let me just tell this girl's story briefly. Yeah. So her friend, like she went to the same high school with this girl. Okay. And after high school, of course, you know, Ghana uni yeah. and stuff. But the other girl, her friend, she didn't attend uni. Okay. So, she, I mean, they, they, they lost communication yeah. for some time. And then she saw her when she graduated from uni. Okay. And this girl was like, you know, she was okay. I wouldn't say, because I don't really know what she does. Mm. But, I mean, she was driving. She had money. She was shopping. She could afford whatever she what, wanted. What she wants. Yeah. You know. So and th- and the girl who that the the friend that went to the uni okay. was like things weren't popping off like mm. after national service mm. still you it's know job job search and things like that, but I mean they were very good friends so she spoke with her friend and was like oh like I'm going on this trip to Dubai if you know you are interested you can go we can go together I pay your ticket and you know so from the onset she didn't know what no she didn't okay. she so so they got to Dubai and they went to this party and on the yacht yeah. and you know that's when the the man approached her trying to so she then confronted her friend right and then this friend told her that like look like this is what was happening mm. You know, so and I mean, no one knows you here. Is it that you you do it or you go back to Ghana broke? And I mean, these guys are going to give you, you know, serious bread. Yeah. You know, so what do you do? So she, she I mean, according to her, she talked about it for some time and like like, yeah, for like a day or two. And she's like, look, fuck it, ah, I'll let just me do, do it. this. And she did it. You know, like I was about to when you started off with the whole story, I was about to say like I wouldn't see it as a victim, mm. but. I feel like a lot of people fall victim, of course, especially not knowing what they are getting. Yeah, I mean, most into. of these girls, most of these girls that have been through it, uh, yeah. like it's the same because they don't tell you the thing straight Trust off. Me, a I lot mean, of people know. Yeah, yeah, that the the people that know are more or less like the middlemen because apparently there there was even a, a time where this agency was um how do you call it they were DMing girls on Instagram just to do that. 
yeah, they just you know frame it up like oh like um, we have like a, a, a photo shoot and stuff like that and things like that. We're going to uh, for your ticket and your accommodation, shopping, Taking Dubai. And all yeah, you just have to sign the non disclosure and things. things. And of don't course, come in easy like that. And you living, don't see yourself as a model and expect yes, things. Yes, but come on, we live in the social media world where people are moved by what they see. They go to this the agency page, they see these girls shopping right. Louis Vuitton and right. stuff, and that's so the life. Are moved. That's mm-hmm. the life they want to leave but they can't afford it so what do they do they move and i was like i'm gonna get the money probably maybe they even look up to these girls and they see that these girls are on these agency pages of course they are going to do it It, i mean you should also understand that it's money that we are talking about here yeah it's money that we are talking about in here so people get moved i mean people are motivated by money obviously you're going to be motivated by money but my question is why should you allow yourself Mm. to be brainwashed by what you see online because listen if you are telling me you are convinced by what you see you see all these slate queens do whatever that they do globe trotting and all of that holding them gucci's like bad man some of these people are literally holding fugazis and you feel like these things are real but yeah you can see some of these people on the yards in you in dubai and all of that thing understandable but why should you be swayed away with the stuff that you're seeing online i feel like yes social media has a very vital role mm. to play in this because some of these women they would want to see themselves in that same position yeah, yeah, yeah. as some other women si, si. Are, are doing or are in yeah but in the end madam if you can't afford it go and sell tomatoes share please I know I mean, women. It's, I know women it's, it's, that literally went to uni mm. and they are trying to get themselves proper jobs. Yes, yeah, we know yeah, it's hard course, in Africa, but you don't need to get on a plane, go to Dubai, and you tell me you have zero but, idea on what you are going to do. I in mean, Dubai. What, 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 what? I'm, what I'm also trying to draw your attention to is the fact that we have people that I wouldn't. I'll, I'll more or less say they are frustrated with life. Fact. Because they've tried every single thing and it's not it's working. It's not working. For them. True. That's very true. There's, I mean, there's, there are not random regular guys walking and having sex with them and what, not even giving them money. So money. they feel like I'm going to have like, because first off, you know, there's a difference when it comes to the act. Right. People see sex to be very private. Private. Yeah. And at the same time, people also see sex to be just having fun. Very true. So if I'm the girl that sees sex to be just having fun, having fun me going there having sex yeah, with them or they random nigga doing, give me nothing. doing freaky uh, shit with them yeah, and giving I'm gonna get me, I'm gonna get more bread if I do this freaky stuff with them exactly yeah, so for sense. them so for them it's, it's like nothing and I mean it's but like for some though yeah 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 that's what I'm saying yeah. I'm referring to them not yeah. not all of course yeah. but you know there's also the saying that says one bad nut spoils the soup all. Yeah, very true. so yeah. I can as well say all of them but of course let's just be fair not That's all true. of them. I mean, yeah. just, uh, just a section of a them. A section of them. When these girls have the opportunity to change things or when they have this opportunity to make things work because they feel like, well, I've worked with this guy, my salary, I applied to this job, but I didn't get it. So or it's the, much more of like the, the conditions that they face. Yes, I mean, it's, it's, I mean, I feel like it's a ripple effect. Right. Because no one in his... Or her like um, right sense, right sense would just wake up and say, "Being comfortable I'm going with to life, Dubai for, just to let someone go and shit in my mouth." Yeah, but you know the funny thing is, a lot of girls, mm. even not in Africa, mm-hmm. like say the UK, mm-hmm. when they move from the UK, like oh they are going on a trip mm-hmm. to Dubai, mm-hmm. people have that perception about them. Yeah, because you know uh, that's 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 another thing with social media is, right. is the way you portray yourself in so, on social media because mm. people that they know that have been victims to this. They portray themselves a certain way on social yeah, but media. I feel like we shouldn't just categorize all of them as victims because some know what they really on. Like they know what they are on about. Yes, but listen, but at the same time, you should also understand where you are coming from. You are coming from a, a, a society whereby we say, thou shall not judge, but we still judge people by their appearances. Fact. We come from a society whereby... Every girl that shows her skin, we categorize her as a shower. Yeah, as a hoe. Yeah. You understand? Yeah. So if 
I have that mentality. I'm not saying me, but yeah, like yeah, if someone yeah, has people that, people have that if, mentality. Yeah. If, if someone has that mentality, yeah. and you're showing skin on social media, you take pictures with bikini and stuff. And stuff I'm not like that. Yeah. Automatically, I'm going to say, oh, or call Dubai, call Yeah, that's fact. That's fact. You um, know, but meanwhile, you are just going there to do yeah. your legit business. But yeah, I just put you in the same bracket as them. It's it's understandable from the angle that you're coming from because there are people that I feel like they are shallow minded in a way like. Mm. I, you not being open-minded in that aspect, mm. I don't blame you. Mm-hmm. I just blame the society that you were brought up in mm. or raised in. Mm. Now, with people going to Dubai mm. and going to have fun, I mm. don't think we should just judge these people like, rah, she's a fine babe, she's buff, like on Instagram, like she's in bikinis and stuff like that. So mm. obviously she's going to um, get pulled in the mouth and shit like that. Mm. Let's not like judge them like this is what they are going to do. Mm. But half of them are actually getting pulled in the mouth. Now, you I mean, are going to get pulled in the mouth because you are convinced on mm. the fact that you want to be like that Instagram model. Mm. You want to be like that slate queen on Instagram. Yeah, yeah. Baby girl, <laughs> if you are fine, you are fine. Don't go to Dubai and get pulled <laughs> in the mouth. Please. This is the same mouth that you'll be coming to us for us to kiss. What sort of nonsense <laughs> is that? <laughs> Please. Sure. Respect yourselves. Sure. So we can respect <laughs> ourselves too. Now, I know that like there are a lot of shit that people do mm. just for the money. Yeah. Like recently I also saw a video mm. of a lady mm. getting banged by a dog. Yeah. I mean it's 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 the same Dubai. Cause with this lady, like, she said she got um there was so it started off with the threesome and then later the dog and then after the 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 pool in the mouth. Kiss, kiss. So they gave her I mean, according to her, she made a lot of money. Like when she came back. She was able to set like up a business, right? And uh, she, I mean, put her mom in, in, in a, very, a better position. In a bet- exactly, she bought a house, she bought cars. So you know, it's a bit dicey because right. you can't tell someone how he or she should move. You are not in their situation. Yeah, situation. That's true. That's fair. I feel like I'm not saying that everyone has legit reasons for doing that. Yeah, but some people are like they are going through a lot. Yeah, and they feel like true. if they don't do it, it's either they die or yeah, there's, there's no there's, there's, no, there's way no way out. out. Yeah, there's no way out. Because, there's no way out because I've come across a lot of people, mm. like females. Like sometimes you know when you're in a car, you're going and you get closer to where these prostitutes mm. are standing mm. and all that thing. Mm. Especially out here, mm. when you see these blacks, you are pushed mm. to just have a convo with mm-hmm, them. Mm-hmm. And the sad thing is, mm. they are just going to give you a different nationality. Mm. But the moment they start talking you clock where you're coming yeah, from. Yeah, of course, of course. Do you understand? Yeah, yeah. And when you have a deeper conversation with them, you realize they don't even want to be there. They don't. I mean, it's they a, don't want it's, to be it's, there. It's, it's because of the fact that they have to make something for themselves. Because listen, there are women that are moving from Africa out here to even Europe and they have to do prostitution to pay off. Yeah, 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 Incantations yeah, 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 and yeah, yeah, shit yeah, that yeah, they have yeah, to do yeah. in Africa. Yo, you know, like B- because they wanted like a greener pasture. It's, you it's crazy. Like the things that we saw, like in movies back in Africa, yeah. they are real. Like you know, like these things we used to see them with with the Nollywood movies, right, like right. you know, the Mama G's yeah. bringing the girls from yeah. Nigeria or Ghana it's that to was Europe. Real, you know? Yeah, but I mean. Until I moved out here, yeah, I thought it was just you know it was just it a was movie. Just, it was a movie. Yeah, it's actually real, exactly. Like you know, it's crazy. It's actually real. But like, I, I've but then, that, but then like you that. ask yourself, why would these girls fall for this? Because trust me, let's say some of these girls when you have conversations with them, yeah. they are like strong Christians. Fact. And before they they travel, you know, these mama G's take them to this you know African yeah, magic yeah, stuff, yeah, yeah, and you know yeah, yeah. They, they let them take um, oats, oats that they don't like break. That. Yeah, 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 yeah. Why would what what pushes them for them to? Take all the money. Take, exactly. So money is the motivation here. So yeah. I feel like they're, so, they're so in do situations. So you really believe in the money is the root of all evil saying? Yes, I do. But at the same time, you should also be 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 strong and try and control yourself. Mm. Because not all, like. not all money is good money. Like yeah. now, okay, fine. You have, you, you earn that lot when you go to Dubai yeah. or you've gone to do whatever, but you have like a bad name. Like let's say, Maybe I won't, like you, you weren't lucky and yeah. your, your tape got leaked. Ooh. You know, everyone knows that, oh, this girl, she made her money off this. Yeah. But now, and at, and at the end of the day, you should also remember that 
good name is, is better than riches. Riches. You know, so I feel like Listen, it's, a, it's a bit of a dicey situation. Man. If you are not in their shoes, it's very difficult big for man. you to... Listen. To really and at, name, and, and at the same time, I can't tell a grown ass woman what to do with her do. body. Yeah, that, that's that's you know, fact. So. But the whole good name is better than richest thing. Bad man, forget good name. Get your money. <laughs> <laughs> forget good name. Because listen, you can have like the good name in this world. If if you are broke, you are broke. Well, true though. But I mean, listen, but that me, same but that same good name can also open doors for you. Do you know that? That's true though. Yeah, like. Like growing up, we know some people. It's not like they are poor, but we know some people that they are not. They are, I would say they are okay. Yeah. But you go to like a uh, like a big office. When I mean big, like you yeah, know, like yeah, a high, yeah, yeah. A high, high class profile. Thing, yeah. You know, you just mention their name and oh, Mr. Oh, yeah, Jiman. Yeah, yeah. Oh, oh, bra bra bet now we in the bar. Oh, you know, like are you the son and of Mr. Jiman? Like it even goes down. Their yeah, generation. But meanwhile, yeah. maybe that Mister Jima was just like a store manager or like or a something. supervisor or something. Bad, but he man, he listen. did he did good. So bad man. It's, sometimes, mm. even if you are just rich, too, it goes down your generation. The moment you mention your name, listen. If you make money today, mm. and they see, oh, Charlie chasing chase, oh, <laughs> chasing kitty, oh, Charlie Charlie. Come, 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 come. <laughs> of you course, understand? I mean it works. Hey. It, it works. It works both ways. It works so. both ways. So like me. I don't really blame them so much. Like it's just sad that um, one the hard living in mm. Africa, I would say, mm. plays a role. Of course. Also, I feel like social media plays a vital <laughs> role in that as well. Now, I don't want us to just stick so much with just the ladies, because mm. the ten toes, ten toes that you are selling out today, we know say niggas to sell. Yo, of course. Talking of the niggas, <laughs> like Sakawa, bro. <laughs> Oh hey, no. Some things boys do for Ghana. Crazy man. Bro. But it's just sad that you hear them say like we are just taking what belongs to us. <sighs> Bad man. You know be hush puppy. Boy. <laughs> 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 He said, if you get back from Chris Brown, so we know more. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. The Mona Lisa remix. Yeah, the Mona Lisa But remix. I mean... The uh, song that you said it wasn't worldwide, though. Uh, I still stand on my ground. <laughs> Mona Lisa is not a worldwide you know, you know, You know it's a business argument, but yeah, that's not what we are talking about today, so... But, I mean, it's, it's, it's just sad to see people um, go through situations like this mm. just to earn the money. Mm. But at this point... Mm. Would you even sell the little toe for the money? I mean, now I'm okay. He's okay because he that rich. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's, it has nothing to do with uh, like uh, being outside of right. Ghana or something. But, but, but you know, people can actually be broke out here. Yeah, yeah, of course, of it, course. I'm not talking of the broke where you just have my no, no, fifteen no. your account like mine. Like broke, broke and in debt. Bro, I know a family here yeah, mm. for like the past eight years. He has to broke. Big man, you be easy. Wow. Some I'm, people be broke. See, they are li- like literally the definition of being broke. But I mean, at the same time, I feel like it, it's it's it also depends on how you manage your finances. Listen. No, because trust you, me. As a family man, mm. you are not working. Your wife doesn't have any better job. Mm-hmm. Your children to come see, come see. Mm-hmm. Like, which finances no, are you going man, to manage? But, but, we, but then it means uh, the man be lazy or something. Because yeah, sometimes you can say that. But, you know, yeah. we are living in a country, like, let's say, like, in Europe, mm. like, a, a country like Italy, mm. Charlie, finding a job be hard. Mm. But, yeah, of course, sometimes you can just be like, you know, if we've all been in this country for years mm. and I've seen people learn jobs mm. and we actually have heard the fact that jobs came your way and you mm. still never took those yeah, yeah, yeah. opportunities then. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, bad man, you actually well, now you're on. deal with yeah. it. Now and I don't care who the fuck you are. I mean, it's, it's lazy it's, as fuck. It's, it's, <laughs> <laughs> Remove. <laughs> Charlie, today they drop bombs, man. I'm for dropping. <laughs> I'm for tell some people off, but yeah, we move. But yeah, yeah, yeah. I understand you. Yeah, but like four in that. But the same, the same question back to you. Are you going to sell your toe? my toe? Yeah. To be very honest, you see the small toe, mm. it really don't worry me. So you want katam, eh? I think katam sell. Bro, see, 10K, yeah, 10K. See, you know how you go, you know how go fit take elevate Y X Y Z. But I go think about uh, maybe, <laughs> maybe when I decide to go to it be Zimbabwe, right? Yeah. 
yeah, me and Charles for go Kenya. Mm. So, so you go probably you go, probably you go, me and Charles go pass there. Go pass that yeah, I go, I, go, I go make Charles hold my hand. <laughs> 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 I'm gonna make you hold my hand, but hey, big man, make you not come talk me. Say, as you hold my hand, you go come collect one. You go collect, you go collect commission. <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, I know I can do some stuff for money. Yeah, no, if I, I, chop, I if I chop my body, claim money, I can do everything. Everything is possible, bro. The reason why I'm saying I'm not gonna do it is because it's not a matter of like life and death for me now. Like, yeah, you know. But let me ask I you. I do. Let me I did steady. I did do. Yeah. So I feel like you know, there's there's still hope. But maybe if you have this conversation with somebody next, with a next next two three years and still nothing pop off, maybe yeah, I go talk yes. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> this my guy. This my guy. <laughs> he they come off like he did that abuse. Oh, I don't mean that about. I mean you. <laughs> but me, <laughs> no. But me, I know that the small ones I can sell both. And get like some twenty k take do maths. No, because did you, did because you, I don't go die. No, no, but but listen, you're you're forgetting one thing. And you it, are, it will actually reduce. You con- listen, relax. It will reduce my, my sneaker size, your shoe size. Yeah. But listen, you are forgetting what you saw. Whoa. Aside the money and the toe, blah blah blah. Do you see how the toes were being cut off? <laughs> that one to be another one. No. Did you Ali, see? You just have to take in some Hennessy, like pop in some vodka. So you good, yeah. bro. Listen, that pain. Yeah, that pain. It won't be easy. Hmm. It won't be easy. Like it's the henny, the henny, and everything. I bet too when you saw. But I mean, let us know in the comment section what you think. Man. If you think you can do anything for the money, don't come and sit in the comment section and be acting like you. You be Christodine. God come out. You will mention your name first. <laughs> with the bag. Come smoke with no. Are you are you gonna sell that toast? Because I know that too, bro. That little one, eh, it worry people, especially the girls. But you know when they wear but, their heels. But you know in, indirectly, like when you cut that toe, it could also make you a disabled person. Yeah, I learned there's a vein that leads to mm. a particular part of the body. Mm. It's very important. I just have to check on that. In me too, I do a bit of biology where I know the kai. No, but me my own I do the integrated science matter. You understand? Me the integrated science matter. There, if the Greek side pair with me and the the kai. You agree? Or I do all that be what me are the the photosynthesis and the osmosis and things, but they are kind of the so they, what do we osmosis? Eh? <laughs> if you find osmosis, eh? <laughs> <laughs> if you find osmosis for yeah, my mother if you define osmosis. No, 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 but listen, if you ask me a question, ask me, give me three, if it will make them optional for me, you can't okay. just uh huh. Define either osmosis, mm. photosynthesis. Or pollination. Forget pollination. No, I want pollination. pollination. <laughs> I'm not saying you can get that. <laughs> I want pollination. Okay. It's a okay. transfer of pollen grain relax. from the anther to the stigma. Okay, relax. We have cross pollination and uh, we have two types of pollination. Yeah, that's one cross, so it's the transfer of pollen grains from the anther to the stigma from one plant to the other. My, uh, my boy, he's <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, I mean, <laughs> my boy, my boy, they show me say, yeah. You, what be little more paper? Little more paper? Yeah. yeah. But that's it. I just decide how they be. <laughs> you are liar. <laughs> But yeah, I mean, um, getting back into the days, like, yo, science is the me too. Let's most paper. You know, be that as a gray black. I say gray thing. black, no. We gray, we gray black thing, and they talk about it. gray black thing. I didn't some paper now. Some people be like that break and color. Say if you are near green, that would be Hey, Apple. <laughs> <laughs> if you haven't subscribed to the YouTube channel, I beg no, subscribe no, to him right no, now. No, no, no. But let me hear your final words, though, with right. the, with the I, whole I crazy, mean, crazy thing for money. To be, to be very honest, mm. like it's really sad to see people mm-hmm. go to um, such routes just mm-hmm. to have the money. Do you understand? Mm-hmm. But some way, somehow, you sit back and think of the stress, the pain that they go through mm-hmm. just cause of money, mm-hmm. like you really have to understand them one way or the other yeah. and you can't dictate or decide for them what they have to do with their lives. Yeah. You understand? Yeah, yeah. So one way or the other, Charlie, just 
be safe out there. I know say it's hard, mm. but try keep things on a minimal mm. to at least stay alive too. Because one thing me, I believe in this life is God mm. doesn't allow you to see the sun the next day if he doesn't have something better for you, mm. if he doesn't have a purpose for you. Mm. Do you understand? So the moment you open those eyes of yours mm. and start walking, you should understand that, yo, you can go through that day. Yeah. Do you understand? But in the end, bad man, you they suffer. Me, I know they suffer some. I mean, me, the suffering they suffer for you. They be different from. They be different from your own. Do you yeah. understand? So if you're watching me anywhere, listening to me anywhere, I know your pain. I did, I've been through shit before. Yeah. And th- there are shit that I really wanted to do just to get money. Like, oh, damn me, I don't do sugar mommy things. Oh. Really? Oh. Bad man, listen. One of my homies was in um, Acropole. Mm. Uh, the, the link boy is fucking. Sugar mommy. Huh. They link boys fucking. I'm like, yo, my G, link me up. Cause me, then the job that they do, then they pay me 50 Ghana. And I they start job 8 a.m. to like, and I do like 1 a.m. Cause it be cafe. Ooh. Do you understand? Internet cafe. And if the guy who needs to come change me, yeah, yeah, the, the shift, shift, he yeah. doesn't come in, it means I have to stay there all so, night. Like wow. till the next day. So growing up, like yeah. during like the high school days, did uh, you ever hear the stories where they were saying like boys don't sleep at night and they have to go sleep with the goddess of the ocean at like in the shit. evenings yeah. and things like I think it's more or less like they sold their soul to them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I actually heard stuff like that in Taifa. Mm. I'm not gonna lie. Mm. Like that one wasn't sleeping with the goddess of the ocean. But me said that one, I'm not like I'll go eat them for <laughs> Tell me it's crazy, man. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I didn't hear of that one. Mm. I heard of where they sleep in coffins and all of that. Yeah, I, I heard niggas like, like even guys that I went to school with. They did it. Yeah. There was one guy that like, I heard stories about him. Like, yo, nah, my man is a big guy now. I'm not going to lie. Big man now. <sighs> like, like, and you really wouldn't blame them because when we were growing up, mm. we saw them. Mm. We saw like the, the struggle, pain the and the struggle, struggle yeah, that they were they, going they through, even go when to. they were coming to school. Like I was the kind of guy, I know be DB, mm. me too, I know be here. Yeah, I you, was, were, you were okay. I'm always in the middle, yeah. you understand? Yeah, and even in SS, people felt like, oh, this boy, yeah, yeah, yeah. I said, low key DB, B. We, oh, me, then do I say, give me name, save. Flexi B. <laughs> <laughs> At the rush! Aye. At the rush! And so if you need to tell you. That's just me. But I mean, yeah, like I, I actually heard stories like that. And when you know them mm. and where they come from, mm. you really can't judge them so much mm. because you know the struggle. You mm. know what they've been through stuff like that yeah you at the end of the day you you indirectly be be even happy for them because you feel like I they wouldn't say like happy 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 because i know the ending is not going to be nice yes but but at that point in time yeah. they listen to them i mean i'm just trying to think like them yeah even though i know that the end is not going to be nice but at least i, ha- I had a taste of of like of what wealth it t- exactly or happiness do you understand you know but some literally don't sleep, bro. Yeah, I heard stories, you know. Some don't sleep. I, some don't take were, showers. Yeah, and there were there were stories where they even say they give you the money, but you're not supposed to acquire any property. Any you property. only buy cars. Like, yeah, and you can't even give the any uh, like family member mem- money. Family members, like, yo, <sighs> crazy man. Nah, but me, I mean that 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 if it was that condition, I'm, I'm not gonna forget because then I'm go- I'm doing it for them. So if I get why, the money, and I'm, why should I come in for the money and my mom can't spend that money, my dad can't, crazy, my children can't. What's the essence? <sighs> crazy man, I, I don't think I'll be able to do that. Like so, spend the money with what babes, <laughs> man, which I wouldn't mind for the babes. <laughs> See, hey. when boys tell me, say, I'll be a shower. freaky. <laughs> <laughs> See, when people tell me, say, I'll be a shower boy, like, I do understand them. Mm. But it is just funny that you just see me and you think I'll be a shower boy. Like, why do you think, say, I'll be a shower boy? I mean, maybe it's the, it's the vibe you give them. Listen, there was this particular guy, yeah? Mm. Shout out to you, Eddie. This guy, mm. I was having a conversation with him. Mm-hmm. When we had that conversation, I asked him, I was like, yo, someone told me you said that 
the first time that you saw me, you knew like I be a shower boy. Why? Do you know the explanation the guy gave? Oh, what did he tell you? Because you be fine boy. Like you got you got the height, like the energy you give off, the confidence. I'm like bad man. Are you serious? <laughs> I was on the phone. I was like, ah, like, come on, give me a proper reason, bro. No, like, but I mean, come that, on, that, that that should even tell you that. I mean, we we come we come from a place where when you're confident, people say you are you're arrogant. True. I mean, that's that. that so it means so if if you you believe in yourself, you are confident, right. and you know you carry yourself with. A level of you know confidence. I'm yeah, talking, uh, people some, suppose yeah. Hey, acquire way too no, acquire way way. But I mean, you are just I mean, you are just being yourself. You are yeah, just, you but know. I mean that's not the um, topic for today. So yeah, um, that's just it, my people. Let us know what you think of today's conversation in the comments below. And if you're listening to this pod on Apple Podcast on Spotify, do your best to follow up the page. And, and yes, if you, them. Have, if you haven't subscribed to the YouTube channel too. Do so right now. You see where in hand they they be a ah, we go show you down understand? below. Forget it. That's it. You know be a kufu adu. That was a bar. <laughs> so yeah, my beautiful people. <laughs> Forget it. We talk. Yo, is that's it. You know be a kufu adu. Hey, your president too. Your president, Quindy. Yeah, I see Quindy. I'm mm. on cancel. So. <laughs> I see I will not be a kufuado. I did talk him again. I can't drop the bomb again. <laughs> but yeah, it was beautiful having fun with you all. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. It's, it's always uh, a vibe. We definitely got yeah. to. Hey, you didn't come back. You can't come away. You have something to tell them. Ah, I mean, just just you know, stay glued. Don't move. More great contents coming their way, and you know, expect more big vibes. Mad. We move. Stay glued, like gorilla glue. Hey! <laughs> <laughs> we are the <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>